In Portland, Oregon, in 1981, several mysterious, unappealing-looking cabinets showed up in arcades, and despite their blandness, drew crowds of kids. These machines were regularly visited by men in black, who looked at some debug statistics menus, took some notes, but never took any of the money collected. The gamers' behaviors changed drastically, losing their memories, becoming unable to experience sadness, entering a hypnotically suggestible fugue state, and some even dropping dead. Rumors began circulating that this was all a U.S. governmental mind control experiment. Then, as mysteriously as they had all appeared, these machines vanished. That game was called Polybius. In about early 2000, an entry showed up on coinop.org for Polybius, supposedly a Tempest-like arcade game that caused memory loss among people who played it. It was, according to the one screenshot of the title screen included in the entry, created by a company called Sinus Lotion Inc. However, this urban legend is likely completely fabricated from whole cloth, and some evidence exists that it was invented to boost coinop.org's traffic. Though some folks recall led the legend being discussed prior in early Usenet days, the very first confirmed appearance of this legend on the internet is that entry on coinop.org. When I asked a German-speaking friend about the company name, they replied, I don't know what word you're trying to create. It's mangled German, likely from the individual words for senses and delete. A possible origin for some aspects of the story is the 1983 vector-based game Cube Quest, which used a laser disc and boasted the first real-time 3D polygon graphics technology. And because laser disc tech was touchy and prone to breakage, regularly had maintenance folks tinkering with it. Additionally, an 18-year-old famously died of a heart attack after a marathon gaming session of Berserk in 1982. Of course, it being an urban legend, Polybius has shown up in popular culture a number of times, including a cameo in The Simpsons where Bart passes it by for the far superior game Triangle Wars, a blink-and-you'll-miss-it appearance on the periphery in a scene in Wreck-It Ralph, and an appearance in Kid Loki's bunker, The Void of the End of Time, where all things go when they are pretty. This leads me to an alternate theory. Disney's purchases of Fox and Marvel may be covering up something much, much more sinister. We're all being brainwashed by the mouse! Since 2007, three games named Polybius have been created for PC, Atari 2600, and 8th Gen game systems. Please don't look them up if you're photosensitive. Visit me elsewhere on the internet if you ever want an expanded info dump.